Dozens of people have been killed in Uganda's capital Kampala since protests broke out on Wednesday. They began after pop star turned presidential candidate Bobby Wine was arrested. He held a campaign rally in Luwunga district, just over 100 kilometers from the capital. As usual, it attracted thousands of supporters, many more than the limit of 200 allowed under COVID-19 restrictions. There was violent uh, riots by activists of one of the political groups in the various towns in Kampala, and the police intervened. So the deaths were as a result of confrontation with the police. But Bobby Wine supporters didn't see it like that. They think the government's trying to stop him sweeping to victory in presidential elections due in January. He's challenging President Yoeri Museveni, who's been in power for 34 years. After two days in jail, he was charged in court with breaking the COVID prevention rules and released on bail. This was, in my opinion, meant to break our resolve. But I have news for you, Mr. Museveni, and all those that work to uh, sustain your dictatorship. We cannot be broken. You can uh, imprison our bodies, you can tear gas and pepper spray our bodies, but you cannot touch our souls. We are not going to stop fighting for a better Uganda. Four other opposition presidential candidates have suspended their campaigns in protest against the actions of the security forces. The government blamed the demonstrators for rioting and attacking police officers. Police has a right to shoot you and kill you if you reach a certain level of violence. The elections are meant to be held just under two months from now. It's not clear if the campaigns will continue or how, but it is clear they've got off to a violent start. Malcolm Webb, Al Jazeera.